Hey everyone, welcome back. I am getting ready to use up the rest of my scraps, well most of my scraps, some of the chipboard pieces I have left, and finish off my projects using this month's cards, tags, and more kit. I have a couple sheets left of uncut paper, but I really kind of want to focus on using the scraps I have left. A lot of them are, are really good size yet. So I'm just I'm just gonna kinda sort them and kinda get everything together so I can really see what I have to work with. Alright, I'm just gonna turn the two sheets that I still had into a couple of envelopes, the max size envelopes for an 8x8 sheet of paper using my We Are Memory Keepers envelope punch board. This first card that I'm working on, I am using the stencil from last month's mixed media kit. And I am just going to kind of randomly put on some texture paste and then add some of the, the patina bronzed copper embossing powder that I had used in my, um, in my cottage life frame from last week, last week's project since I do still have some of those chipboard pieces with that embossing powder already on them. All right, I, I saw uh, Nick the Booksmith make uh, some homemade glassine using tracing paper and a semi-gloss spray but I didn't have any semi-gloss spray so I used what I had which was just that Mod Podge gloss and some tracing paper and it, it worked out beautifully. I like it a lot better than using the wax method uh, to make the homemade glassine. You don't have to worry about any kind of remelt or anything. Uh, even though I had already sprayed this, I wasn't worried about the ink rubbing off because I am going to also be embossing these roses on here. But in this method, you could also print on your tracing paper before you spray it and then it would just seal it all up. So there's my first rose and I'm just using a Vicky Booten. Uh, set that I have in my stash just because the roses in that set I think worked really well with the with the graphic 45 cottage life set this month I used the dies the matching dies to punch a couple of holes in the front of my envelope and then I am just using my Judy Kins diamond glaze to glue those uh, glassine embossed roses on the inside of my envelope just to make a couple of little windows. I, I let my texture paste dry before I, I melted that embossing powder on and then I grabbed up that Lindy's Magical Powder that is in this month's Mixed Media Kit and just sort of put it on and dried it as I went and kind of brushed it out. And then I just, I just used some kind of medium weight uh, cardstock. It's die cuts with a few. It's from their their linen stack. I've had it for for years and years and years. I'm just you know using up what I have right now and I used that to line the inside of this metallic paper which was from the same stack just to kind of cover up any of the Lindy's Magicals that had gone on the other side just to clean it up. And then I add that little framed bit of 
of Graphic 45 that I had made last week and ended up not using with my my framed decor piece and popped it on the front of this card. This second card I'm working on, I have that green envelope already made up and I'm just going to add some lawn strips of paper across the card front. This little strip of paper, I had put, I had had some uh, cut up pieces of some adhesive sheets and I had already just stuck some of the Graphic 45 scraps I had down to them. This was one of them. I added a little bit extra glue because it, it wasn't completely covered with the adhesive. It was kind of hanging off the edge. And then I just added that on top of that green strip just to just to kind of give a little break in between and then I come in and I use the same color uh, cardstock to stamp my sentiment on with some uh, mowed lawn distress oxide I give that distress oxide a little spritz with water just to activate it. Get it dried up and then to add that mowed lawn on the rest of it I just use my distress oxide spray and I actually didn't originally mean to put that much of the spray on. I hit it too hard on one of the squirts so I, I just kind of worked with it and then I just watered it down just to just to get it to spread out and then after all of that was dry I just glue my sentiment on and I wanted to kind of get that sentiment to pop a little bit so I came back in and I just used a jelly roll pin and traced over the the stamping and then when I was done with that I just popped on a few of those eyelet outlet jams that was in the June cards tags and more kit. So last month's cards tags and more kit I just used some of those green eyelet outlet little jewels just for some accent pieces on my card front. Alright, these next two cards, I just use some pre-made cards and envelope blanks from Recollections and then just sort of modify my, my pre-mates. When, when I was starting work on this one, I knew, I knew what I wanted to use. I just wasn't exactly sure how I was going to be working with it. When I was playing with the, the glossy spray and tracing paper, I had stamped that little, that little image on and then colored it in with just some colored pencils and then sprayed the, the glossy spray on it. And I had originally, I was going to make kind of a window, so I had already cut it in half. So with it already cut in half, um, 
I really had no choice but to kind of finish that that window scene so I just cut out uh, the four little the four little rectangles out of the front of my envelope and then added some of the strips of the graphic 45 to to just kind of accent and highlight especially since I had accidentally cut all the way across one of those crossbars and then I figured since since I was already in the area I kind of I, I split my horizontal paper uh, I added just some some a, a few a couple little uh, I cut a couple little slots in it that's what I was trying to say I cut a couple little slots in it and then I I cut the end of the vertical one and I just added some weaving so that they're where they cross they're actually they're actually woven together and then I didn't have a full-size piece of of green of green graphic 45 left so I just kind of grabbed up some scraps and used my my Tim Holtz die with it just to see what kind of pieces I might get off used it to to back my little squirrel scene and then I decided I wanted to kind of add some blue sky behind that and that was actually a pre-made piece of of homemade glassine that I had you or that I had made using the wax method and just some um, I think it was the blueprint blueprint sketch distress oxide that I had used to kind of add the blue to there I wrapped it a around a piece of the graphic 45 cover that I had left and stuck that in behind everything and then I just really wanted to kind of finish cleaning up around the edges of my envelope so I added some bits of the graphic 45 papers and then just to just to kind of make it look like everything was the same size and to clean up the edges I cut these little strips of paper uh, three eighths I think they were three eighths of an inch and gin, then just lined them up along the edge of the envelope and stuck them down my card front that goes with this envelope is is far more simple than the envelope was I just cut some rectangles out of the paper I had and covered that card front with them And then just added on another one of those chipboard pieces that I had from last week that I didn't use and a few of the Prima flowers that I didn't use in June. For my fourth and final card example, I used some Tim Holtz bird dies, the bird silhouette dies, cut out a bunch of the birds and then came in and just used my my hexagon punches one and a half inch and one inch just to kind of punch as, much, as many hexagons out of the scrap pieces that I had. Uh, I don't end up using the little ones at all but I do use those large hexagons and I just uh, kind of spread them out across the front of my card Then
then I just come in I'm kind of working out how I want to do the birds for my card front and I do choose to use one of each color a pink a blue and a green I glue them down and then to kind of get them to stand out a little bit I just hand draw uh, a little line I hand draw a line across to give them something to stand on I come in with a a jelly roll glaze pin and add some highlight to that line and then I use some metallic jelly pins to outline the birds in coordinating colors green blue and a a pinkish color and then I wanted to kind of give a little bit of shadow behind those birds so I grabbed a a dark gray jelly pin and traced around the birds and before it had a chance to dry I just used my finger just to spread it out a little bit for the envelope to keep with the hexagons I used some hexagon dies from my stash and cut three different sized ones out of the front of my envelope. I used a piece of my homemade glassine. Um, I don't put it in quite yet. I just lay it on front and kind of start trying to work out how I want to arrange the birds on my envelope. In the end, I add one of each color to of those birds and make them so that they are behind my window cutouts, my hexagon windows. I used the the hexagons that had cut out of the front just to reinforce the back side where where there had been the the pressure, just the pressure of those dies on the back of that envelope. I get those I get that that homemade glassine glued in and then I come in and just finish adding some birds to the front of my envelope Then I just grab up a bit of that homemade glassine and some stays on and make my sentiment for the front of the card. I used some Judy Kins diamond glaze behind that uh, just so that it wouldn't really show up um, behind that, that glassine. All right, I have four cards made up using this month's cards, tags, and more kit. Uh, uh, the the Lindy's from this month's mixed media kit. Uh, some items from previous months, and some items from my stash. I hope that you enjoyed these these example cards and they gave you some ideas of 
what you can do using this month's cards, tags, and more kit. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, turn on notifications if you haven't already, and give us a, a thumbs up. Feel free to share this video. Thank you, and I will see you again next month.